Hey, uh, Retro Motorcycle Blog with another uh, video. One of our active readers uh, recently read our blog on the top 50 motorcycles for miles per gallon and uh, posted that on his 1983 Yamaha XJ900 he was getting about 52 miles per gallon. Actually I think he was getting 53 which puts the 1983 Yamaha XJ900 at the number 30 slot in the top 50 bikes. Pretty impressive for A, uh, an older bike, and B, a 900cc motorcycle. Most of the motorcycles that were listed in this top 50 were the smaller bikes, which we all know uh, can get pretty incredible fuel economy. This particular 1983 Yamaha XJ900 has been modified by myself with the assistance of uh, my brother. It's had a 1982 or 1983 Yamaha Turbo Seca fairing that's been modified to fit on the 900. Now the advantage of that, which we didn't realize at the time, a lot of my personal research has indicated that Yamaha, when they designed the Turbo Seca fairing, put a lot of research into it and a lot of wind tunnel testing time. So it actually is a very very streamlined and tunneled tested and engineered fairing for the maximum ability A not to lift the front wheel at high speeds and to give the best wind flow possible. So it's a testament to Yamaha's ability to design uh, fairings from quite a while ago that produce such high uh, MPG currently. Now, we believe that this bike has a couple of advantages besides just the Yamaha fairing. Uh, this bike has done several test runs. It's getting about 58 miles per gallon at freeway speeds. Now, this has fitted to it, to the stock screen, windscreen, an MRA uh, flip screen. And the beauty of this little screen is it's adjustable by hand. It can go to the fully down position if you desire, or it can go to the fully up position. And in the fully up position, it will probably deflect about two more inches of wind up and over your helmet. In the stock fairing, the wind was hitting me right about face, uh, about nose level. With this screen, it's actually getting it right at the tip of my helmet, which is probably helping with wind flow. Now the other thing that I personally have designed uh, for this particular motorcycle, I did it strictly as a stone and chip guard uh, uh, protectant for the headlight. It's a plexiglass screen, screen that I've engineered and developed that we'll be offering uh, for sale in a short little while. And it just simply fits into place here. It's velcroed. But I think what this also does, this is my theory, is that the wind, instead of being directed around the headlight through all the, uh, the bits here around the triple tree, gets deflected up over the windscreen. This may even help with fuel economy. For my research about uh, uh, fuel economy is anytime you can provide more efficient wind flow around a motorcycle, it's going to help. Uh, the other thing that we wanted to touch on briefly today is the build process that was involved in this. Uh, again, uh, through some research, I learned that Yamaha, if the Turbo Seca had sold well, was planning to possibly produce the 900 with this fairing. So after reading that, I simply took uh, some measurements, did some engineering with my brother, and we determined that it was possible that it might work. The first thing we did is got an old beat up uh, junkyard dog 650 turbo, took our trusty die grinder to all the uh, attachment points, very very carefully die grinded off those attachment points and then we mocked this fairing up. We actually suspended it from the rafters of my two car garage and slid the bike into place and marveled at how well it fit. 
and then after several uh, hours of test fitting, uh, my brother then did all the precision welding on it. Uh, he's a, a craftsman in the cartooner uh, craze that's going on right now and has manufactured a lot of uh, parts for uh, cars. So he came over and did the welding on it. This bike has also been in several shows and the compliment that we receive about it is it looks like factory and that's what fools people. This bike was never produced in the configuration that you see right now. It's only by uh, some careful uh, study that we came up with this. Now what Retro Motorcycle Blog would also like to invite all of our readers or viewers is if you're doing this type of project uh, whether it be in the cafe racer bike craze or any type of project related to that we'd like to hear from you. Send us a photo. Send us the video. We'd love to post it on the blog and build a community of people that are looking at bikes from the 70s, 80s, and 90s and doing some uh, wonderful things with them. Keep these uh, bikes running and going into the future. So, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. We'll have some more on some of the build that went into this bike and hopefully we'll see videos from you that show some of the processes that you go through and helping each other all from our two car garages. Thanks for joining us.